it's very important to include everybody with developmental disabilities because they're people too. They have feelings, they have lives, they have friends. They sh should be accept accepted as everybody should be accepted. If you don't include people with developmental disabilities, they'll feel left out and such something they'll remember forever. Everybody has something which, which they struggle with. You shouldn't pe treat people who have uh, something they struggle with badly if you also have something you struggle with because then you're essentially saying that you should be treated badly as well. I think it's pretty important to include people with developmental disabilities because I have one. So, I would feel pretty bad if I was left out. We're not very different. Sure, some might have a little trouble with fidgeting. They might have, it might take them a little bit longer to um, understand something than other people, but that doesn't mean that they're like completely different. It just means that they have a little, little extra weight on their back and it's not like um, a, an elephant sitting on your back. It's just a little bit of extra weight. It's not that different. The reason we need to have them in our community is because they make up such a huge ch chunk of our community that without them, we'd be left kind of empty and they are like making us who we are and a truly wonderful um, school. If we didn't have people with developmental disabilities in our school, we would have no variety and no, and our, everybody would be really similar and it's great to be different. If they weren't there, then a lot of people would be much, much lonelier and maybe even friendless. You know how all the stormtroopers look the same? We would be a planet of stormtroopers. There wouldn't be any red ones, no Darth Vaders. There, it would just be a planet of regular stormtroopers. So we need, probably should have used a good guy for this, but we need like special things, not the regular stormtroopers. We want the ones with stripes, the ones that are red, like that kind of stuff. Well, I actually asked my dad about this and uh, he grew up in Belarus as a kid and in the schools, there, were, there was nobody with any kind of disability. They weren't allowed to go out and be in like museums or restaurants or anything. They weren't allowed to go to the same schools. They were basically hidden. And then um, now he is, you know, living here and he's seeing dis disabled people on a, like a weekly basis, and he's learning to like coexist and to like be kind and considerate and respectful of them because he didn't have that experience as a kid so i feel like it's important that the adults from that generation continue to try and learn to be respectful towards disabled individuals sometimes adults can because kids minds are still like growing they're still learning they're, they're like a big sponge like, the adult brain isn't in the sponge stage anymore, it's in the already absorbed a lot of stuff. So sometimes it doesn't let in new stuff. It can be, like, hard to change that, but it's, you can if you put your mind to it. We can teach adults that no matter how somebody looks, thinks, or acts, they're all human. Just go up to them and say hi and how are you? Just treat them like you would to anybody else. Just include them with the activities you're doing with your friends and be nice to them. What I like to do is if I see somebody with a disability, I just see beyond it. It's like looking at the shell of, a, of the turtle but not seeing the beautiful pattern on the skin inside. 